Good morning, Reefers. I'm Dave from Coralus, and today it's Wisdom Wednesday, and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about refugiums and nutrient export, and how refugiums are a great place to keep copepods because they thrive in there, and it's just an awesome, awesome place to see life in your tank. Now, I don't normally clean this, so there is a ton of coralline algae on the glass, so it's hard to see through there, but just by looking around briefly, you can see there's tons and tons of life just throughout the sink. So the other day I was cleaning out my refugium and this is a nice sump and it's got it built in and one of my overflows goes down the side into this refugium so it gives it a constant pressure um, flowing from the right to the left. Now I have some screens in here to keep track of the macroalgae from getting into the rest of the sump but that's one of the reasons why I also like this Shado because it tends to stay in a ball and not make a mess everywhere. But this thing was completely jam packed the other day. It's hard to see in here. Um, it was jam packed with macroalgae. So I took it out, and just to give you guys an idea, there's a little ball left in there now. I put a little bit ball in there. But just to give you an idea how much really was in there, I'll show you over here. Now I'm all about the refugiums, and I have different macroalgae in each one. And this you can feed to your tangs, which is pretty good. They love it. it. Makes them pretty happy. So, yeah, you would never believe all of this came out of that little itty bitty sump over there. And I was like, you know what? Normally I throw it out, but um, because this kind is mixed, it, it's not just the one chato. It's got different macroalgae in there. I, I tend to not like that. I like all my macroalgae to be clean with just one kind. So I won't sell the mixed chato, but I decided to throw in this extra holding tank since I had room. So it kind of takes up on the bubbles, any dust, anything that comes down since I'm not using a filter sock. But if you just even sit here for a couple minutes, I mean, you will see so much life there is just so much stuff swimming around down here. And that is one of the reasons why I love the refugium. It's not just the nutrient export, but you can feed your tank with it if you're growing um, macroalgae that your tangs like. Um, they devour this stuff. I put a fox face in there and you went crazy. Um, and you can see over here, I threw a little bit of the other chato on top just to see what happens. I notice it grows differently in, in different speeds of flowing water and different lights. And you know, I also use the GFO. So I wanted to see how the GFO and my phosphates, everything worked out with the extra with the extra refugium uh, chato eating up some of those phosphates. So I just have a simple light on here. This is a little LED that I got from Lowe's. Um, it's probably like a little 60 watt bulb replacement so and it's growing this stuff fine I'm not having any issues I hear a lot of people say they can't grow chato and it's a strange thing to me I, I don't understand it sometimes there's something in the water but when I was first cycling my system I couldn't get any of the chato to grow so I don't know like I said what happened there but anyway um, I do tend to pull out whatever is getting no light because uh, that will die and release nutrients back into your tank and you don't want that so if it gets overcrowded you do need to trim it back and you do need to prune and remove whatever you can so but we got all these beautiful corals on top of that eight foot long sump you know every ecosystem's different when you think about what I'm running and how I'm doing it look at that small skimmer I have this itty bitty little skimmer in there compared to other people's skimmers on their little tanks and I'm running this massive refugium so it's so difficult to, to pinpoint every system a lot of people have tons of questions and hard to answer them all so 
We'll see how fast this Calorpa grows back um, and how fast it refills this whole thing. But this, like I said before, was completely, completely filled up to the brim. Um, with just macro out. So each time I pull it out, I try to clean it out and get a more pure strand of just a Chato because I don't want to see um, other stuff in there. So there you guys go. Um, feel free to leave any questions or comments below. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.